Hello, so um, I'll be doing a review today on a product by MAC or MAC Pro, which is called Lip Erase. And I believe Sweet Eyes had wanted to see a review on this as compare, comparing it with a brown lipstick. Um, and also someone named 7LWA83 on YouTube wanted to see some of my lip stuff, as well as some advice on, you know, pigmented lips. But, you know, I'll just be sharing with you my review on Lip Erase, but the lip stuff will come another day. So I got um, this product called Lip Erase, and I got it in the shade called Dim. They offer it in two shades, one for light, which is called Pale, for lighter skin tones, and one called Dim, which, is, which matches my skin tone better. Um, I'm in NC35. This is kind of like orangey-brown, maybe. It doesn't look orange, more like just like a neutral brown. And you can buy this um, at a Mac Pro store, and there's a few locations in the U.S. If you don't have one, you can go to the MacPro.com and look for their 800 number to order products through them. They don't have the prices on the website, so you have to call them. But I got a sample pan of the product from a website called StarsMakeupHaven.com, and they sell samples of Mac products such as pigments, and lip erase, and they give a half a teaspoon for three dollars and ninety-five cents. But half a teaspoon isn't a lot because you could see the divot right in the center where the the pan has um, shown through. So I reached the bottom of the pan in like two or three, like three or four uses maybe. So that's not a lot at all. But if you're interested in the product, then go ahead and buy it for three ninety-five. I don't know how much it costs. I probably won't end up go buying a, a pot anyway. So first, um, I'm wearing a lip gloss called L'Oreal Color Juice in Grape Soda, like a purpley one. It has a little bit of color to it on my lips, and you can see that it's kind of like shining purple, more like a berry. So this is like what it looks like on my lips, but if I remove the gloss, you could see that I have a problem that many girls have, which is pigment, dark pigmented lips. So if you wear something like a purple gloss, it may not show up very purple at all. So that's what the lip race is for. Um, I did try applying this with a lip brush but I tended to have too much and also since this is like more of like a drier like balmy product then warming it with your um, finger um, helps out a lot. So you just apply it on. You don't need that much it, depending upon how light you want to go you can add more or less. Yeah, it's pretty easy to apply. See, I'm still reaching the bottom of the pan even as we speak, making it bigger. So, the first thing I have to say is that to prepare yourself for this, you should do a lip scrub. I have like these little flakes on my, on my lips that wouldn't be showing up if I used a, a lipstick or a balm or a gloss because it would kind of moisturize for you, but this doesn't do it. It's a little bit drying. Um, but for the same, so you should do a scrub. Also, the MAs recommend that you put this on like at the beginning of your face routine, do your eyeshadow, do your mascara, blush, and then come back and then put um, a, a lipstick or gloss over it. To let it kind of sink in and adhere to your lips. Um, this is a little drier and I could feel it kind of does stick onto your lips better than a lipstick, which is more moisturizing, or a lip balm, which is moisturizing as well. Um, this isn't greasy at all. It just feels like a drier product. It doesn't overtly dry my lips at all. If you can't stand it, then this isn't for you. But otherwise, if it's fine. Um, I've tried a lip balm underneath it, but it tends to kind of want to slide off. You know, if I put it over a lip balm. So if you find one that doesn't make that happen, then let us know. So this is my, these are my lips. Now erased. It's very white. I could put more on. You can put more or less on however you feel that day. And it will just blend in with my face. Make sure to get the edges too. So, you can see that it kind of accentuates the creases in my lips a little bit more. So I'm just going to let this sink in. Um, if you have a MAC 15 pan palette, then this sample will fit right in if you put a magnet in there. Um, otherwise, just get the pot. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. so a property about this is that, um, since this kind of like becomes, like melts more into your lips, it won't mix with whatever you put on top of it, like a lipstick might do. Although a lipstick might be like creamier and more moisturizing, it would tend to kind of like glop together with your lipstick, with gloss, which I 
don't really like. I don't know. Maybe I put on too too much of both. But this seems to kind of be on its own layer, and this kind of will go on top of it, and kind of, you know, it will moisturize your lips anyway, over, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. So one bad thing about it is that you have to put your finger in it. Well, you don't have to, but I tend to want to, so it won't be a sanitary for your lip products. Um, it has a screw top, it's not like a flip top, and it doesn't come in like pan unless you get it from the sample which isn't a lot to begin with anyway um but you can achieve this with the lipstick in the same brown color or same light color that pale is in so if you just go to an ma at mac and ask her to find you a pale lipstick that's matte this is a matte color no shimmer at all then she'll find you one and you'll be fine just ask for one that will adhere to the lips ones that's not so moisturizing i don't know um, unless you want that, but color-wise, it does the same thing as a nude lipstick, but texture-wise, it will adhere better to the lips and be more on its own. And for wearability, I would say that it does last longer than, like, a lipstick would. It's more like a balm, like I said, like, it kind of one of just sticks. So it won't overtly just, like, come off, like... Like, if I just, like, touch my lips or, like, if I just, like, drink a glass of water. I mean, it would come off, but not as much as, like, a lipstick, if that makes sense. So, let's go ahead and put the gloss over it. And I hope you remember what it looked like when I didn't have my lip erase on. So I have the gloss on. It still tends to make like one color, but not as badly as like a lipstick. So this is what it looks like after. It's kind of like the single color. It's like a, <clears throat> a, a purple tinted nude color. It's like purple tinted stuff. So it does let the color of the gloss shine through more. You should probably just go back to the beginning of the video because I can already see from the old frames that my lips look a lot like redder, darker, browner kind of than this. This is more pleasant looking. So that's basically my review. It looks a little bit more natural, kind of like going with the N collection from MAC. So if you have any comments or questions, do let me know. Um, do, I really recommend you getting a lip scrub or scrubbing like it's your job <laughs> before you put this on. Um, you might not be able to see it if you're kind of far away, but up close it's kind of like little pieces of stuff. Um, it's a little bit dry. If you can't stand it, then don't get it. Go to the MAC Pro stores to get it. Go to Stars Makeup Haven and get it. Um, brown lipsticks would work. Like, lipsticks would work. I feel like this lasts a little longer, and I would repurchase this. Um, I would give this, like, a rating of 3 out of 5, but I personally might want it, might prefer to get it, because I kind of prefer things that are kind of lip balmy in texture, the kind of the ones that do stick to the lips. And I, I don't like how lipsticks kind of just tend to come off along with the gloss. So, um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments... Let us know by commenting below or inboxing. Uh, I really prefer that you just comment below so everyone can see and um, I can answer questions that other people might be interested in. Thanks for watching. Bye!